You Are you wearing any makeup? Because you could wear more if you wanted to. You're so tall. I'm fair. But I like to experiment with a lot of different looks. Were you born in Chicago? I was born right here. Lived here my whole life. My favorite animal is the meerkat. Do you know what they are? They're so cute. Oh, they're, I've got this little charm bracelet with meerkats on it. Do you have lots of boyfriends? I bet you did. Did you ever try out for cheerleading or anything? I tried out, but I didn't make it. But I'm real pretty right now. <laughs> Boy, these things really make you think, huh? <laughs> you know what? Mm. I'm craving some nuts. These boys grow up staring at the rear ends of cows and pigs. It's only natural that a real woman will get them chafing their pants. Mom, please don't talk about that kind of stuff right before we eat. <laughs> you were always such a sensitive boy and such a beautiful boy. Why, when you were a baby, people used to stop me on the street and tell me how beautiful you were. A lot of them thought you were a girl. Here's Delmer, Woody's cousin. He was a drunk. One time we were wrestling and he felt me up. Grabbed a handful of boob and Woody was right there and didn't have a clue, did you, Woody? Jesus, Mom. Well, my goodness. I didn't know Keith White was here. When did he die? She was drunk. I was drunk too, but I was right. So look what happens. Years go by, and then she's gone. And I lose my only daughter, because you can't play the Joker whenever you want in a no Trump's hand. And I don't get to see you for years. That made me real sad. I feel sick about this. I'm not happy at all. Not one little bit. But we do what we have to do. We do what we must. Just because we don't want to do something doesn't mean it can't be done. I'm in real trouble. For the past six, seven months, I've been living with a man. Well, actually two men. One in Chicago and one in New York. The real problem is, is that I'm pregnant. I don't even know if it was Chicago or New York. I'm sorry to lay all this on you. <laughs> but uh, you're my rock of Gibraltar. You really are. 
Ever since the polio, the whole family gave up, even Father Timothy. But you, you never even cried, not once. You're the rock, baby. It's funny to see your face after all that darkness. It's a nervous face, but kind eyes. Really? Oh, God, I hate these auditions. I'm not what you're looking for. <laughs> I'm not even Linda Kaiser. She's my roommate. My name is Allison Densmore. I never use it because it sounds so old. <laughs> I'm 34 years old today, and I'm not prepared. I'm prepared for 22. Right now, I could do a great 22. I woke up this morning, and all of a sudden, I was not young. I, w I, I was not old, but I'm all of a sudden not young. You see that older fellow I was talking to before? Yeah. That's my landlord. Last night, about 10.30, somebody began pounding on my door, so I got up to see who it was, and I opened the door, and here was this elderly gentleman with a pince nez, and I said, what do you want? And he said, I'm the landlord, and I want the rent. Well, I just looked at him, because the landlord I know is a Hungarian man named Frank, was absolutely crazy about me, so the issue of the rent never came up, you see. Well, meanwhile, my new landlord kept grabbing my arm and yelling some garbled French poetry he was trying to pass off as his own. It was an absolute fraud. Scotch the whole thing from Baudelaire. To mitre la dune, but you know the one. Well, he kept screaming about how he wanted the rent, and I didn't like him very much anyway, so I finally called this boy named George I used to know who lived in Poughkeepsie when I went to Vassar. He lives in St. Luke's place now. Only goes to see his mother every Wednesday in Poughkeepsie. He's got an Oedipus. So that was out. You know, I was very popular when I was young. And all the young men were so attractive. Oh, oh God. And my husband. No. I can't remember which one I married. Yeah. Oscar, I promise yes. you, we'll dance our brains out tomorrow at 10. 10, 10 o'clock, without interruption. Practice. practice. I, I, will, <laughs> I will. Ciao. Ciao, darling. Oh, insufferable dance goddess. He thinks the sun rises and sets on rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. All right, dear, quickly. What in the dickens are you talking about? What investment? Yeah, uh, I... Pour me some of that. What is that? Uh, brandy? Oh. oh. God.
Yes. That's what I'd appreciate. To talk to you. Oh. Well, no, I couldn't hear because my husband's sick. Well, no, I wouldn't like to go down to the office. I, I'd be too embarrassed. For seven years, it's been a marriage in name only, as the saying goes. I, I can't leave him. But I'm young. Don't laugh at me, please. I'm not, I'm not laughing at you. I couldn't laugh at you. Seven years, I've been good and decent, trying to trying to handle the cars that was dealt me, as the saying goes. I spit on my mother's grave. When? At the, at the cemetery. My father took me to see her grave, and, and we were walking away, and I ran back and spit on it. She acted very happy that night. And, um... And, uh, she... Closed my door and turned out the light. That was the last time I saw her. 